Hey, you want some job to sell, man? Sure, why not? You know, it's from African American. American, African American. Cool, so he's second grade. Uh, <laughs> I know y'all feel like y'all above, but it might be easy. Y'all got tequila and African? Nah, we got a better stuff, sir. What's better stuff? What, what is that? Better stuff? What's better? Stop? Stop? What is that? A better stop? Stop? What is we that? get it right from the roots, isn't it? What's like, that? Come on. What's a better stuff? Come on, you never heard of it? Oh, man. Uh, what's that? They're like, literally get it from the tree tree. Like literally, from the tree. Yeah. The tree tree. See, I'm gonna go on the trip. <laughs> so y'all tree straight from the tree. Y'all tree is liquid. It's like alcohol, not weed. I'm gonna say it's more like trees have got loads of different stuff in them. Like maple syrup and shit. Like yeah. syrup. Yeah, like okay. rubber comes from the tree. Rubber. Yeah. All right. So y'all get shit straight from the y'all use condom. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. use condom. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some people. Okay. Cool. Okay. Some people. Y'all don't got diseases and shit. That's nah, not that some is, people. You Americans about that. Is it goat skin, yeah. sheep skin, lamb skin? Right, right. right. I'm curious. Right. Is goat skin, sheep skin, lamb skin, or is it just lamb no, they're skin? No, they're different. They're different. Did you say goat animal? skin? <laughs> <laughs> I had to ask. It's all goat skin condoms, bro. No. I had to ask. You got lamb skin for those who are hey, you allergic chase to latex. Yeah. So you ain't a real people, people allergic to latex. Some people allergic to latex. And they can't use regular condoms. Talking about goat skin condoms. She weird, then. You shouldn't even touch that. She freaky, freaky. She jumping. No, you, you can't touch that one. <laughs> you gotta leave that one alone. So she First really of all, latex is is pumped with a lot of American chemicals that no one has knowledge of. You put it on your dicks. Mm. Put it in vaginas. Yeah, all right. I gotta do that. Do you use condoms? I actually stopped using all... I'm not gonna tell. I'm not editing this out. But wait, you gotta edit this out. But no, like, I'm starting, I'm starting, I'm starting, I'm starting, I'm starting, with, I'm starting with feminine yeah. products. I'm not, I'm not using any, any feminine products that are of like pads and tampons. Like, I'm not using that stuff. So we got. I'm using a. No, it's a cup. A feminine. Get on that cup, Tony. So it's a cup. It's a cup that catch all that shit. Inside you? Yes. So you when I when I'm jamming my ride you, I gotta feel a cup hit. What? Me. No, that's I'm and that's the that's the amazing oh, thing, oh, ladies. You do not have to feel this cup. No, I gotta feel the cup. You're not gonna feel the cup at all. Okay. You're not gonna feel the cup at all. He's not gonna feel the cup at all, sweetie. Let me tell you. So it's this cup, right? You used it before. It's this. Yeah. Because I've completely opted out of pads and tampons because they pump so many different chemicals in that shit. Hold on, so you can, I don't want my vagina to on that shit. I don't want that shit in me. We have water. We can edit all this out, right? Wait, no. Why? Why? This shit good. We gotta, so, okay. you're saying okay. that. We gotta go. Hold on. We gotta go. Wait, one second. Yeah, stop filming. Hello? Okay. You left us with this conversation. Okay. Anyway. We got an African slash British person here. We got a Puerto Rican who just walked out. You know what I'm saying? We got a nigga from Foster Park. <laughs> <laughs> I was born and raised over east, man. You feel me? Over east. So that's that's his own state. They trying to separate the north from Chicago. We need to separate over east from Chicago. Like, <laughs> that shit needs to be. That needs to be a whole hey. other city. That shit needs to be over east. So do our west. Hey. It's y'all wild. Yeah, our west needs to. Oh, wow. A village. They don't need to be a city. They need to be a little village. Now, I respect our ways. I just had D-Lo on here the other day. Yeah, D-Lo my boy. And, shout uh, out to D-Lo. He's yeah, still from a town from out west. Like, y'all the town. Y'all ain't no city. A little village. <laughs> a little tribe. The tribe called West. Cool. <laughs> hey, look. Good at you, know, big, Talking about the Seabull. You know, you know Chicago Seabull. Man, so, what you think about Chicago, man? Uh, Chicago. How long you been here for? So Chicago, I've been in Chicago, in and out of Chicago for about six years, going to Carmel and stuff as well too. Okay. But no, nah, Chicago, Chicago is a is an interesting city. It's probably one of the most segregated cities I've ever been to in my life. Mm. Even more than London. Mm -hmm. For the most part. Yeah. So like black people and white people in London get to like they get together. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah. Okay. It's like we have a different culture with like black people and white people than you guys. Do. It's like if you're, more more fun, if you're black in England, it's like. I kind of know where you're from, it's like your parents are like Nigerian, Ghanaian, Jamaican, so it's like when you ask a black man where you from, I'm Nigerian, it's not like I'm British Nigerian or like I'm British Ghanaian, right. and for you guys it's like, That's like I'm African American and it's like there's that little tension between you two. That's, you know why that is though, right? I do. We don't know where we from. 
I so like, that. I, I was watching Nipsey Hussle's last interview on Breakfast Club where he was like, if a man can't connect to a country, that's a terrible thing. I don't think you so. know what I'm saying? So that's like most African Americans is that like you got a certain sense of pride because of where you come from. You know where you come from. You can trace back your great, 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 great grandfather. You probably know who that is. For us, <laughs> maybe you don't, but you still got the pride mm-hmm. that was passed down from them. Mm-hmm. From us, we can only trace our lineage back so far because of the selling of slaves. Even right. they look, everybody, look at everyone us, 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 all our people came from down south. That's what we, every, everybody, <laughs> That's all as far as you can go back. Right. But even with south. that, it's a break because of well, somebody had a baby, the baby got sold, never knew the, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so at the end of the day, we definitely don't know where we came from in Africa. I think I'm from the Congo. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why. Wow. Let's throw that out there. Just I mean, out the Congo, yourself. bro. Like, I just, like, like, Serge Ibaka from the Congo, and he, he just a thorough, like, I just like how he, how he play and shit. He, like, tough. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he a rim protector and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he got Kerry Hilson for yeah, a little that, minute. That, so that, that's me like, right there. I'm from that's the that's Congo, that. bro. Like, <laughs> he, the only, he the only African that I was like, all right, this nigga valid, bro. So, I'm from the Congo. Right. So I I relate to the Congo, but most motherfuckers don't know like we from our hood. Congo. That's why that that's, that that just gave me a whole another outlook on why we say like if you ask me where I'm from, mm-hmm. I'm probably not gonna say Chicago. Mm-hmm. Probably mm-hmm. gonna say somewhere inside Chicago. Mm-hmm. Like I say, I'm from Eastside. We been no, no, like where you from? But they out of the oh oh. Like and then when you say Chicago, Chicago you saying what Southside Chicago, Eastside Chicago, South Park Chicago. It's like uh, South Chicago. It's like damn, like uh, then you saying a whole like different thing. Country with pride. With pride, like what our pride? Our pride is in our neighborhood. Right. That's fucked up. A neighborhood that's that, that will kill own. you in your same neighborhood that's and still not give a fuck about you. In that same neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Even outside it's, of that, it's, it's, it's just a, that we it's don't. It's a catch twenty two because we take pride in where we from. But where we from? We don't really give a fuck about. Us. We, we want to get out of it. We don't. We don't that's own it. That's the fucked up part about it. The, the, that's not, to me the fucked up part about it is that we don't own it. So whenever, that's what I'm saying, true. Whenever a true. come say true. like we want to turn, turn we want to turn Inglewood, Auburn, Gresham, whatever South mm-hmm. Shore, we want to turn this into the New High Park. We want to move white people. Yeah. They can do it whenever they want to do it. We don't see. own it. Bro, look at so our, it's just like it's hard to take pride in something. Look at eighty seven. Look what's happening in the city right now. Look at look at look at our main streets, bro. Look at them buildings, bro. Look at what so, like we can turn into a real like look at go to Elmhurst right. and ride down these streets and look at these street signs and the, the like they storefronts, they barbershops, the people who live above. It's like damn, dude, you got all of this stuff, but it's just vacant. Right. I think um, <clears throat> one of the best places you could use an example is like the Black Power in Chicago and like our Black people just actually strive. It's Brunswick or High Park. I think it's a very lovely neighborhood, depending on where you are. And mm-hmm. I think it's just the people who actually made that happen. It wasn't like you're waiting on the government and stuff like that. But that's just me with my limited yeah. view into it. So I don't really know the little so history and all yeah, that. That's definitely but a historical area of Chicago. Exactly. And if you see it's mostly black people, it looks yeah. like a very, very decent neighborhood. Like I like to have a home there. And it's 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 going somewhere. So for me I can see the African American culture develop and it's just how much are the younger ones or like our age, how much are we trying to like push yeah. this as well? Like are we are we still stuck in the in the uh we gangster and it's like you're not from my neighborhood? You come to my hood, I'll shoot you. It's like, put that aside and like, fuck it, let's just do what needs to be done. The only way they're going to put that to the side is if the ones that they're listening to transition with them with that. Because it's a gap. They only listen to that. That's what they listen to. Because the music, in our generation, the music was different. Even though, I mean, I listened to all that shit was there, but I mean, that wasn't like, it wasn't like that. It was was like, like, it, it, it was different. I, can tell you, I feel you from this you know, standpoint, though. But I, I, I feel like the music is better now, in a sense. Like, hit me out, though, because I know you in my house. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, which way? So, in the sense that, like, now we got album music, so you got a wide variety of what you listen to. When we were shorties, we had to listen to what was on radio first. We could get online while you and download some shit, but our exposure to music was, was more. It was selected for us. You want know to filter? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you had to listen to 50. You had to listen so to Kanye. Exactly that was hot. Was now, real. you could yeah. go find what fits your personality because you got Apple Music. You could find you on Apple probably. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You 
know what I'm saying? So a nigga could go find that because he like, oh, this nigga from Foster Park. I don't want to listen to Cheap or whatever. I ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? I, whoever, right. whoever, whatever yeah, negative yeah, influence. Chicago, right. I can go listen to him, mm-hmm. like on my phone right now. I don't have to buy it from him. I, have to try. I don't gotta wait till I see the nigga. I don't gotta, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like go jump through loops to hear his music. Mm-hmm. I could go listen to that shit right now. I don't gotta wait till the song come on the radio. I can listen to this shit right now. But to this you know extent, to this point, it's okay. more like if you're not cultured to listen to something appropriately, you're just gonna pick what the streets give you. And if they give you shit, you're just gonna keep running around with shit and keep passing it down. So that little gap. No, yeah. listen, listen to me. It's like if you have like a grandparent and a parent who's looking out for you and teaching you right from your wrong, um, at least you kind of you get you guided towards something and like this is the right thing, this is the right path. But if you cut that apart, it's like. Whatever you hand, you lay your hands on as a kid is what you're just gonna run with. So if you end up listening to like the wrong thing or like the hardest nigga on the, on the blocks telling you, you about like it. this nigga's the hardest Man, shit you need to listen to, you that is what you're gonna keep going was, on. Like think about think so about everyone needs to like, like it's essentially that's what he's saying. I, I, that's what I, yeah, I get from no, you're right there. Like, yeah. like think about it like this. Like yo, I your grand grandparents is a median between you and your parents. Yo, yo, you can you can run to yo either one of your grandparents and say you both of them as a collective or grandma or grandpa. If you get into with your mom and your dad, who you gonna go to? Your grandparents. Your grand, your grandparents. That's your median. So what we need to do is have the grandparent vibe and mindset as how we coming now, cause that's the median. We gotta have that energy within us and our parental age. Cause that's the only way we gonna merge that. Now, when we merge that on top of teaching all that, what we just learned to the shorties, now we just accelerated them uh, at least 15 to 20 years mentally. Mm-hmm. Now they pushing that along with everything. Now they right with us along. Now that they, they come with they with they 15 year accelerated years of ideas along with what we already doing. Now we finna merge all that. And now that with us accelerate, now they finna come along with the shorties. Now that next generation, they up at least 30, 45 years mentally. Just imagine what you're finna do with that. But that shit gotta start right here, right now. You know what I'm don't, don't do that now, man. Everybody don't have that understanding. Everybody don't have that vibe. And you gotta even, you gotta have that understanding to even know how to push that. To even approach somebody with that. You can't come aggressively like that with that message. You can come aggressively like that with certain individuals because they're aggressive individuals, but you can't come like that to everybody yeah. if you're trying to go that route. So, come on then. Yeah. That shit's still running, right? It's still running.